welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new foundation fridays so this is the second video in this series and if you want to see the previous video you can click on the right i think here i'm not sure so if you can hear my cat she is being very annoying today so if you can hear it please ignore um, but for today, I'm going to review the Kat Von D Locket foundation and I also got the concealer So I thought it would be fun to throw in the concealer too I'm not going to try out any other new product for the skin so that I can give the foundation a fair shot So I've already applied my professional to the t-zone and for the rest of my face I'm going to use the Jouer anti-aging moisturizing primer um, When I use a matte foundation, I always use a moisturizing primer and when I use a moisturizing slash dewy foundation I use a matte primer um, because my skin is normal so I like to counteract a little bit so that my face stays on all day long on this side I will put some information about the foundation as usual so like the price the finish the coverage and stuff like that so as I said I have the shade light 43 warm and I ordered this off of Sephora France and I live in the Netherlands so they had to ship it to my home anyways moving on I always like to apply my foundation with a beauty blender so I'm gonna do exactly the same as I usually would I like a really really full coverage base so I tend to apply a little bit more pumps than the usual person so on the back of my hand I have a three pumps right now and I'm just gonna dip in with my damp beauty blender and start to apply Okay, so as you can see with the first step, I already get a lot of pay off. So as you can see, the shape match is pretty good. Um, I would say it's a little teensy tiny bit darker than my neck, but my neck is a lot lighter than my face as you can see because I do have freckles. Um, so that's always fun. But I would say this is one of the best matches I have in foundation. Okay, so while applying, you can definitely see that the coverage is pretty good. I wouldn't say that it's full, but it's definitely medium to full coverage. Some of my redness is still shining through, but all of my freckles are co covered for sure. By the way, let me know in the poll up here how many pumps of foundation you use because some foundations say you can use like only one pump but when I use the one pump, mm -mm, no, it is not gonna happen. You might be able to use like one pump for your, all of your face in a sheer coverage but not for a full or even medium coverage. So as you can see, it blended in seamlessly. Um, of course, I didn't apply anything to my under eyes yet. I always keep that pre for my concealer. I do still have a little bit left on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to take that and work it into the sides of the nose. So this is the coverage with three pumps and one layer. So zooming into my skin, you can definitely see that it's still a little bit luminous. It's not really a matte finish. Okay, so as shape match to my neck, I hope you can see it. It's pretty good. It's a teeny bit darker and maybe a little bit more yellow. But overall, it's a really, really good match for my skin. So the foundation doesn't really dry down like a matte does. Um, to the touch it also feels not really sticky but you can definitely feel that it's still a little bit wet so it does need a little layer of powder over top for sure coverage wise i think this is enough for now if i want to go for a full full coverage i would just spot apply a little bit more on the areas i need a little bit more and now i'm just gonna apply a little bit of the concealer so this is the kat von d lucky concealer in l1 neutral this is not the whitest shape because they also have a pure white shade um but like actual skin color like this is definitely the lightest shade i think 
So I'm just gonna dot it all over the place. This concealer is definitely a more hydrating concealer. It's not drying like the Tarte Shape Tape is. And the doe foot applicator is pretty nice. I don't know if you can see it. But it's a little bit pointed and slanted. So it makes it really, really easy to use. Shade-wise, this is a little bit more pink. Um, I know it says neutral, but I would definitely say that it has more pink undertones than really warm undertones but that might also be because it's that light that they have to make it a little bit more pink okay so for the concealer um it feels very very light as does the foundation by the way but i do get the feeling that you have to apply a lot if you want a little bit more of a full coverage because the amount i did just applied is I would say on the sheer side it's not totally translucent but it's definitely more on the sheer side so I'm just gonna apply a bit more underneath the eyes okay so that definitely helped with the coverage Moving into my skin I can already see it creasing in the fine lines underneath my eyes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is apply the powder and the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back for a final review. Okay, I'm back and I did the rest of my makeup. As you can see, it is super pretty and flawless. It definitely is a very, very good base for all of the rest. Um, would I recommend this foundation? Definitely. Along with a few other foundations, this is definitely on my top five even yeah i think it's on my top five of favorite foundations i just really love the finish of it the coverage and also the shape match is pretty good um what i also like is that they have even lighter shades and they i think they also have pretty dark shades but don't quote me on that so i want to thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a thumbs up also let me know in the comments what foundation you want to see next and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put on the notification bell because at the end of november i'm gonna do a challenge where i upload a video every single day and i really want to thank you guys so much for watching and i love you guys